All right, guys. So I want to plant seeds, but it's only April and we plant them in May, like in the ground. They take way too long to start growing and producing anything before the season's up. So I uh, bought on Amazon. Nice little mini greenhouse. So I'm going to use that this year and the next year we'll have a full greenhouse. So I'll be able to use that, which is exciting. First, I got to build this. I think this is only like 40 bucks too on Amazon. So super affordable. Lots of seeds, lots of pods. Like I said, this is going to work perfect because then I can get my plants growing and then I can transfer them outside. I've got flowers, I've got vegetables. So I'm going to get these going. Guys, I got lots and lots of great stuff to plant. I'm super excited about all of it. I have Michigan wildflowers. So yeah, like again, can get these flowers started. So they are growing and stable sized. So when I get some raised beds built, I can plant them in there and they're gonna look absolutely beautiful this summer. I have lots of sunflower seeds. I love, love, love sunflowers. So I'm gonna plant a lot of these cause I have a good plan for them. And we've got lots of great vegetables. So, I'll plant some cucumbers and some lettuce. It looks like I'll plant and let's see what else we got to plant for you guys. We got some jalapeno seeds and some tomato seeds. Some winter squash. I have lots of awesome stuff going on guys. Alright guys, so in this back row here I planted yellow squash, then in this next row I planted tomatoes, then some acorn squash, then uh, two rows of cucumbers because we eat a lot of them in the summer, and then the last row here is jalapenos. I'm going to plant some more after we eat, so I'll get back to you guys. Plant some more tomatoes and some spices and stuff and we'll see what grows. I'm going to be planting some, I'm going to be building some raised beds. I saw a really great idea I liked on mine, so I'm going to build them myself because the raised beds at the farm stores are $100 a piece or more, which is crazy. So I have lots of milled wood from our sawmill. So why not make them, right? Plus they'll look much nicer around here. So stay tuned for that in like about a month. And we'll hopefully have lots of plants to put in there. So I'll plant some more after we eat. You can't figure out how to push the button, but you can open the door. Uh... Here, watch guys. Look at the darkest dogs. Look at the darkest dogs. 
Uh -huh. so, oh, we have the dorkiest dogs to go with the dorky J. Yeah. And the real, the really cool Jen. <laughs> Look at how cute this is, guys. I just opened up this set. It comes with like the cutest little set. Oh, Scout, what is up your brain today? Did you eat some funny juice or something? These are not treats. These are little pods. are like so out of control right now do you know this you would think timbers <laughs> guys are gonna make a mess it's like it's base. <laughs> no it's literally dirt guys let's try to grow some pumpkins guys how fun would it be to have some pumpkins up here? We're gonna grow some pumpkins, maybe. All right, guys, before we can finish the bathroom, we need to poly the walls. So that is what I'm going to do tonight. So join me while I do that. Sorry, the dogs are being a little out of control right now. <laughs> so anyways, like I was saying, before we can finish this bathroom completely, which we are so close, guys, the end is almost here. Um, I've got to poly the walls, so I'm gonna do that while Jason's working on another project. So join me while I get this done. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's uh, another step in the right direction, which is exciting. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just using a simple water-based poly. We got this from the green store. This is what we used on the tongue and groove in the rest of the cabins. So we're just gonna continue using that. Let's get to work.
All right, everyone, I got two coats on everything. All coming together, guys. Finally. I'm very excited. I know you guys are too, because you guys are excited for us to get started with other stuff. So we're going to get done. Yes. Do you want to go look for some deer? Hmm? Do you want to go look for some deer? Do you want to go look for some deer? You want to go for a deer cruise tonight? Huh? You guys want to go for a deer cruise? We are gonna jump in the truck and go cruising through the woods and look for some deer. Maybe we can get you guys some cool footage and stuff too. So we're gonna get going here soon and uh, take a couple showers and get on the road. Go see what we can see. Turkeys or deers or whatever. Come with us. Can you go for a puppy ride? Go for a puppy ride. Can I go for a puppy ride? What? What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope All right guys, so it got dark last night. I was able to show you the completed greenhouse setup. Here we go. So we've got back here, we've got sunflowers and then we've got corn and pumpkin and we've got zucchini and some daisies and some wildflowers and some some wildflowers and some lettuce and some tomatoes and some cucumbers down here so we'll see how it goes it, the dirt may look a little dry but have a lot of water in the bottom so that it'll like soak up as it needs it so hopefully they grow 
So we'll see how it looks in a couple days. We'll give it three or four days and then we'll do a check-in to get stuff sprouting because everything says three to seven days. So we'll check in in like three and see what's growing. And then we'll check in in like a week. Hopefully we have some stuff growing. Start of the gardening adventure for 2023, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, drop us your comments, your thoughts below. Make sure you give us some thumbs up, share the videos, and if you aren't subscribed, join us on our journey here. We have lots of fun, we're simple, we try to have fun, and we don't take ourselves too seriously. And um, also find us on Instagram and Facebook for daily updates. I try to post there almost every day pictures of the dogs and the cabin and just daily life going around here that might not get in a video or whatnot. So, thanks guys. What if the wind could spread?